Hi guys, so welcome to this preview for Bournemouth versus Southampton. This match has been played at the Vitality Stadium. Um, so I just sort of think of pink when I think of the Vitality Stadium. So um, it's a, it's a quite a small stadium actually. It reminds me of the Dell. Um, it's about what two or three thousand less than the Dell back in the day. The last time these teams met in the league was 2010-2011 uh, uh, season. Both fixtures saw Saints win. Uh, skip forward five years, and we already have beaten the Cherries. Um, that was in November last year coming out as 2-0 winners in front of Sky's cameras. It's actually been 58 years since Bournemouth beat Southampton at home so they're certainly due a win and um, Saints go into this match after a disappointing game on Saturday against Chelsea but Bournemouth they've lost their last three matches and of course the Saints defence has been really solid up to the Chelsea match. So this is uh, FIFA playing here. So I just figured I would uh, virtually play the match uh, by computers and talk over it. So there's the team FIFA's picked. Shane Long is um, nursing a hamstring injury. Now the game has started. He's rated at 50-50 to be available. Spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Other team news, Bournemouth's Max Gradle could make his first league start since August. Dan Gosling. Stanislas suffered a hamstring strain. Um, Lewis Graben faces a late fitness test. Wanyama is serving the last um, of his free match ban for being a dirty, uh, filthy player. Um, when he got sent off against West Ham. Long, but we've got a goal to tell you about Alan McAnally from the King Power Stadium. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. It's been scored by Chris Brunt. He's rifled it home from a good 20 yards into the bottom corner. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. We can, uh, we can expect to see, um, you know, a high-pressing game from Bournemouth. Um, statistics have shown that some of their players, in particular Ritchie, have ran the most in the Premier League. So they certainly do cover a lot of ground. This match, of course, is being played on BT Sport Live, 7.45 kickoff. Um, you might want to just watch like a French legal stream instead of BT Sport because... Um, why is he taking so long? You can throw the... Uh, ref, book him. Referee! Ref, so there we go. That That's a exciting glitch in FIFA where he just stands there. Of course, Saints are playing in their away strip of green, which is um, a really good idea. Uh, green on green is really easy to see. Um, I'm not sure why they've gone with green. You know, I mean, did they not learn anything from the 6 3 Man United match from uh, 96, was it? 95, um, when they changed their strips at half time uh, because they couldn't see each other in their grey tops. James Ward Prowse, of course, who, uh, who needs uh, GPS uh, tracking to um, indicate where the goal is. Bound across there. Will be a goal kick. On EA Sports quick. So that's uh, that's Bournemouth's next fixture there. That's interesting. Newcastle. That's actually a that's a six pointer right there. Newcastle. If uh, if Newcastle win, Bournemouth lose. I think Newcastle are two points behind Bournemouth. So um, Bournemouth, if they lose and Newcastle win, can be drawn into the relegation battle. They could actually, I think, just sit uh, above it at 19th. Um, but if they win, and especially if Newcastle lose uh, this week, then they've got sort of half a foot, you know, maybe they're sort of edging towards the uh, relegation, not uh, staying up zone. Ooh, keeper. So, Pelle, Pelle is playing in this match, who, um, uh, who's sort of like a giant Italian paperweight 
on Saturday. Didn't really do anything as per usual. Um, I think with Pella, I think we should probably, I think he'll be better, best suited playing in Italy. You know, slow paced game. Um, I think maybe he, I don't know, maybe got lucky in the previous games he's played and the only reason he scored um, was because he just sort of, there was a spurt of um, pace in him and now he's just sort of wilted into obscurity. Go on, Prousey. Take him out. Prow oh, it's 1-1 one, one. Norwich. That's exciting. So that's a predicting uh, a another Tuesday score there by FIFA. Good old FIFA. Felicity FIFA. Where's he going? Hello. Bertrand there. So Southampton, I think they switched to five at the back on Saturday. Um, football focus before that, uh, Dion Dublin was saying how five at the back was the, was the reason why they, um, the defence has been so good. But uh, I think on Saturday we switched to four at the back, so it created um, issues. F and, you know, certainly we did sit back too much as well. So we sort of invited Chelsea to um, come on us. So here we go for the second half of this uh, mind-numbingly boring match between Bournemouth and Southampton. So with Bournemouth, like I said, uh, I think I, I said, I can't remember, um, they, d they do play a high-pressing game. Uh, they are quite pacey um, up front. Put it in well. It's a game uh, that she should suit Saints, um, as we tend to like to break on the counter attack. But it's important not to get, you know, not to go all out, as of course Bournemouth will break on the counter. Francis. The home team about to make a change. Sermon. And Smith. It's crossed it well. Ooh, that was close. Close, but not close enough. But only a corner could have been worse. So Bournemouth are far oh there's the next match that's home to Sunderland. Hopefully we will be there covering the match outside um, either with uh, Danielle. Uh, May or uh, Anthony Knight or someone else so here we go with a corner uh, we're getting a substitution boring so uh, Bournemouth are fighting for their Premier League status for next season a relegation threat that Saints have experienced many times in the past you know I was there at the Dell Saints are staying up Saints are staying up Brantford, <laughs> what are you going to do now, Brantford? Uh, various uh, things. Um, so a win for Bournemouth would see them eight points clear of the drop zone if other teams down there lose, of course. Put into the goalkeeper's territory, really. With the relegation zone, Usually you get a team, one or two teams that just rise, like Leicester last season. They just sort of were at the bottom and then they, let's get up there. Home team ready to make a change. Good hands, bread and butter. Uh, so the goalkeeper there is wearing green. Well, that's, uh, that's again really useful. Same colour as the grass and same colour as Saints as well. I tell you what, I, I really, I just want the yellow and blue back. Uh, I don't like the green. I just don't like it. So there's Van Dyke there, probably uh, probably our best signing I think this season. Um, really impressive, really impressed by him. So if you are one of the uh, 1,200 fans going to this match, um, let us know your predictions in the comments or Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
whatever, just um, hashtag it up and stick it on somewhere. So that's a great save there by Fraser Force. Oh, handball. That's a handball. No, it, it looked like it came off his knee. So one of the questions that was asked on Saturday was, are Bournemouth our rivals? Um, you know, I, I think they they want someone, a, a rival, really. Um, so they, they would say, yeah, we're our rivals. But we would say, you know, face bothered. Who cares? Um the, I don't, they're not our rivals because they're they're not really competing with us at the set, at exact same level, so they're not like top table. Um, I I think that though once uh, once the manager leaves, uh, Eddie Howe, that they would probably just sink down um, because they you know small support. Small ground, I just don't think it's sustainable. But having said that, obviously next season is a new territory with the TV deal coming in. I think the, the bottom team gets £99 million pounds a year. That was Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin is here on FIFA 16. Uh, last time I played, he wasn't on there. Here he is, the bearded maestro. He's going to pull back the trigger and pop it in. Charlie Austin's green and blue. <laughs> green and blue. He sort of he sort of looks like a, a character from like the Battle of Britain like he's sort of uh, an RAF pilot just casually go sitting in his Spitfire and uh Ryan Bertrand Saints are going to make a change. The a so here we go. Saints are knocking the ball about. Passing it. Pass and move. There we go. Not really going anywhere. Losing the ball there. Referee pulls it back. Pointing at something. There's Matt Target. Who is missing the target. So... 90 minutes is almost up here. It's nil-nil. I think this, you know, it could actually be nil-nil. But I do think Bournemouth, they are a bit um, defensively a bit dodgy. So I think, you know, Saints will win this. Uh, probably 2-0. Um, yeah, possibly, why not, 3-1 the last time they played at Bournemouth. Don't forget, you can watch the post-match reaction to the Chelsea match. That's on the video uh, YouTube. Um, links below. Click on stuff. Like, sub, subscribe, comment, moan. Download it. Stick it on the Pirate Bay. Whatever. Thanks for watching. I am outside St Mary's right now. It's freezing cold and a very disappointing result against Chelsea. Right, does anyone want to have an interview with Saints Fans TV about the game today? I bet you've got something to say. I'm with Derek. How are you doing? Oh uh, Well, I was better at the uh, interval, but um, never mind. It wasn't so bad. Game of two halves, I thought. What went wrong today? Uh, it, it went wrong from when Shane Long came off. Cause, like, it just, there's no pace at the top and then it, it just fell apart, really. Well, we should have won. Uh, referee decisions were terrible 